Protests were held across the country Saturday to mark Bank Transfer Day, a campaign to move accounts from big banks into community banks or credit unions. Credit unions attracted more than 40,000 new account holders, reporting about $80 million in new savings, or an average of about $2,000 per new account holder. The campaign was organized by Kristen Christian when she learned that Bank of America planned to charge her a $5 monthly debit card fee. Christian's Facebook post urging friends to abandon big banks unwittingly blossomed into a national campaign. More than 75,000 people pledged to participate in Bank Transfer Day. Although the campaign was neither inspired by nor or organized by the cyber activist group Anonymous or the Occupy Wall Street movement, it did benefit from their support. In this ad, Anonymous explained how to participate in Bank Transfer Day. If the 99% removes our funds from the major banking institutions, two nonprofit credit unions on or by the 5th of November, we will send a clear message to the 1% that conscious consumers won't support companies with unethical business practices. One. Open an account with a credit union. 2. Transfer your funds to the new account on or before 11 slash 05. 3. Follow your bank's procedures to close your account. 2. Find a credit union near you. Click here. For more information, visit the official Facebook page. Well, after Bank Transfer Day, local news outlets around the country reported that fed-up customers acted on their promise to take their business away from big banks, sometimes in conjunction with the Occupy Wall Street protests. Philadelphia Inquirer told the story of a couple inspired by the protests who switched from Bank of America to a community bank. A news channel, KGW, out of Portland, Oregon, also interviewed fed-up customers who moved their money from big banks. The Denver Post said more than 1,000 protesters marched from bank to bank and urged customers there to close their accounts, while the Colorado Independent reported that local credit unions have acquired $100 million in new deposits within the past month. For more, we go to L.A., to Los Angeles, to Kristen Christian, who organized Bank Transfer Day. And we're also joined here in New York by John Boniface, a constitutional attorney and co-founder and director of Free Speech for People. Kristen, John, welcome. Kristen, you started this on your Facebook page with a picture of Guy Fox. Why Guy Fox? Um, well, I chose the imagery because it personally inspired me. It reminded me of uh, a sense of rebellion, but definitely um, I've always been a pacifist myself. I've never been one to cause disruption. And the American flag reminded me of the freedoms that we are entitled to because of the brave men, men and women who fight for us, one of them being, uh, some 30 years ago, my grandfather. Who was? Your grandfather was? Uh, my grandfather was uh, in the uh, United States Air Force for approximately 25 years of his life. So it was Guy Fawkes Day, uh, Saturday, Bank Transfer Day. And you mm -hmm. sent around um, what you—tell us what you did to get back Bank Transfer Day going. Uh, I actually, I created a Facebook event and sent out invitations to 500 of my approximately 800 Facebook friends and urge them to explore their options with preferably local credit unions. But um, if one was not available in their area, then a local bank. From there, the event just uh, snowballed with, at the end, um, before close of November 5th, we had 85,000 supporters. Uh, CUNA reported that uh, 650,000 uh, New credit union members joined before November 5th, the deadline goal of Bank Transfer Day, and another 40,000 on Bank Transfer Day, meaning nearly 700,000 consumers shifted funds from corporate for-profit banking institutions to local not-for-profit credit unions. Kristen, explain what the relationship is between um, Bank Transfer Day and uh, the Occupy Wall Street movement. Um, there actually is no relationship between Bing Transfer Day and the Occupy Wall Street movement, short of that uh, Occupy Wall Street did adopt the directive of Bing Transfer Day to pull funds from banks. By most reports and most information I saw, unfortunately, the Occupy Wall Street movement didn't offer um, their supporters a step to take from there, meaning uh, what to do with their money once they pulled it from the for-profit banking institution. Uh, so I definitely did appreciate the support of Occupy Wall Street in spreading the word. 
uh, but I've never participated in any of the Occupy uh, protests across the country, and um, nor have I organized any of Kristen, those Kristen, would you say uh, that uh, this move, uh, Bank Transfer Day and the Occupy movements, have also led to the defeat of Bank of America and other banks uh, pulling back their charges on bank cards, the $5 fee, which happened right before Bank Transfer Day, the announcement in the last weeks? Um, yes, I, I definitely think that uh, a lot of consumer discontentment played a role in the withdrawal of that new policy. Um, I think it, it further illustrates, though, how out of touch the executives of the large banks can be, that at least with Bank Transfer Day, which um, is, is the movement that CUNA directly credits for um, inspiring so many people to sh make the shift, um, it, it, it does illustrate these these banking institution executives are out of touch because the message from Bank Transfer Day was not the fee itself, but actually the principle behind it. Because at least with Bank of America, the fee only applied to account holders with less than $20,000 in combined accounts. Um, so based on principle, I couldn't support a business that would directly target the impoverished and working class.